All right, guys, the idea here is I want to make an expandable air gap. These uh, cuttings were originally taken from a basil plant I have out in the garden that's uh, in soil. And I originally cut these off about 19 days ago and uh, put them in the mini downspout. But as we can see, the, yeah, the root system is really starting to take off here. And everything's looking pretty good. And I originally filled this with the uh, master, blend, master Blend Concentrate at a half strength. So we, were, uh, we started with the EC of about 1.5. As I haven't had to refill anything yet. But today I'm going to change out the nutrients. Along with adding the uh, new air gap idea. So we'll see how that works. And with the crack D method, you got to have an air gap inside your reservoir. I mean, usually they say to fill the liquid up 50 to 75% and leave the rest uh, with air so you don't drown the plant. And as you can see, my reservoir is about halfway filled, so I probably used about 40% of the water over the uh, past 19 days. So right now we'll just take a look at the roots. I'll remove the plants and I'm gonna stick them in the uh, other empty uh, mini downspout I got here. It's just empty, but it makes a good uh, place to hold the uh, plants while I'm working on this. And as you can see, everything's looking pretty good with the uh, propagation 19 days in. Alright, so I'm going to start by uh, taking these 2 inch neck cups and clipping out the bottom. And the reason for this is I want a bigger hole so I can uh, put the root system through the hole in the bottom. So I'll just take these tin snips and I want to start clipping it out. It's getting as close to the edge as possible. I could have left it like this, but I'm going to get my uh, drill and uh, bore it out to make it nice and smooth. This is going very slow so I don't catch it or break it. But this seemed to work out. You just got to go slow. So, and it looks a lot more finished and smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish all the other ones off that I need. And as you can see, they look a lot better uh, finished without any of the burrs on the uh, bottom. So that's it for those. All right, now I'm going to cut out the uh, collars for the three inch cups out of this uh, piece of puzzle map. So I got my two drills here and uh, let's start. So first off, I'm going to start off with my uh, three inch uh, drill. And all I want to do is I just want to mark an outline here. I don't want to drill all the way through yet. And the reason I want to draw, drill all the way through yet is so I have an outline so I can uh, center up the two inch bit and then drill a hole through it. And, and by using the outline I can center the two inch drill bit and then drill the hole all the way through. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just getting it, getting it close. And I'm using a two inch drill bit. So the uh, pieces, scrap pieces that were cut out, they're two inches and they fit in the uh, two inch uh, net cup. So you can use them as a collar. All right, so we're just going to continue. We're going to put the uh, three inch drill bit back in the groove we already cut and just finish cutting them out. As you can see, they cut through this puzzle mat foam with uh, no problem. So let's go ahead and uh, test fit the collars and see how they fit. Everything's looking good, so we'll uh, grab a net cup and see how that fits in there. And it looks like a perfect fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the bottom of these uh, cups. Because I need the bottom open for the roots to pass through. I mean, you can use a razor is the easiest thing. But I'm going to use the uh, one and a half inch drill bit. So 
So I just grabbed my one and a half inch drill bit and uh, drilled, started drilling them out. Being careful not to break the cups. And once I got a rough hole, then I just put in the uh, net cup and turned it and it kind of like cheese grated the sides and smoothed it out. So it worked good enough for what, what I'm doing here with the experiment. So everything's looking good here. So we'll move on to the next step where um, I need to cut some of these cups in half. So I'm just going to start cutting the cups at the second rib right here. And that size will work out perfect for what I'm doing. So just grab your scissors, cut through very easy, just follow the line and cut all the way around. And now that we're done cutting the uh, styrofoam cups in half, we can take our little uh, piece that we cut and test fit it on the net cup, make sure that it lines up properly. And it's looking good. These net cups have a little ridge on the inside and uh, the cup will slide up right into the ridge. So that's what I'm looking for. All right, let's gather these up. Okay, so I originally started these uh, basal clippings in this mini downspout right here. As I just took the clippings and inserted them into the uh, two inch clone collars. And then I filled the reservoir up with uh, nutrients and I filled it about 90% because at that time, you know, none of the uh, clippings had any roots. But now that the uh, clippings got roots on them, I, I definitely need an air gap. So I would need to uh, fill this reservoir up about 60% max. And the reason for that is so I don't drown the plants as they need an air gap to get oxygen. So my idea here is to have an adjustable air gap as the roots grow, you know, I can extend it higher and higher. Um, this will allow me to uh, fill up my reservoir, you know, 95, 98%. So my idea here is to use these uh, styrofoam cups and uh, stick them in the holes. You know, depending on the size of the cup, that's, that will extend the air gap. So I just inserted the cup pieces that I cut earlier in the video. And I also will go ahead and insert the uh, full styrofoam cups where I remove the bottoms into the uh, holes also. And the great thing about the uh, styrofoam cups is that they're flexible. So when you push them down in the hole, they actually uh, will make a very tight seal. And this allowed me to walk around the house after it was filled with water without spilling any of the uh, water out. So let's go ahead and uh, continue to put together the pieces that uh, I made earlier. So let's grab one of the net cups that I cut out the bottom, as you can see. And I will go ahead and insert that two inch uh, clone collar into the uh, two inch net cup. And I'll go ahead and post all the links in the uh, description of the video as I bought all these pieces uh, off Amazon. And as you can see, I did start all the original basal clippings in these two inch clone collars. I'll go ahead and show you how this works. So basically we're just going to slide the uh, half piece of styrofoam cup that we cut and just slide it onto the uh, two inch net cup. And with these net cups, they have a little lip so that the cup will actually slide up under the lip. And that's it. Now we got an expandable air gap. So let's just go ahead and grab one of the uh, basils in the uh, two inch clone collar and then we're going to insert it into the uh, net cup. And as I found out quickly, it would have been much better to uh, take off the uh, styrofoam cup and insert the clone collar just into the net cup first and then go back and then put the uh, styrofoam cup over the uh, net cup, making sure not to pinch any of the roots. And now it's the right time to uh, insert the uh, half styrofoam cup and slide it up onto the net cup. And that's it. Once you got it, then just slide it back into the mini downspout and you got your uh, air gap. So now instead of just filling the uh, 
reservoir up 50%, say somewhere like this, now we can fill it up 100%. You can fill it basically to the bottom of the cup. And it makes it dummy proof because there's no way you can uh, drown the plant. So let's just go ahead and grab the other basil plants and uh, we'll insert them into the uh, half styrofoam cups and insert them into the uh, mini downspout. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see they got such a tight fit that they won't even fall out when I turn it over. So now we'll move on to the uh, full styrofoam cups and then insert the basil plants into them. So again, just like before, we get the two inch collar and insert it into the uh, net cup. And then I'm going to grab one of those three inch collars that I made earlier from the uh, puzzle mats. And then that hole in the center is two inches. So you can see how the two inch collar fits in there. Perfect. And now I'll just grab the two inch net cup and it inserts right into the uh, collar perfectly. And I'll grab the other plant and we're almost done here. I just need to uh, adjust the roots here so they stick out the bottom of the net cup and then we'll be good to go. And these roots look like they're a little shorter than the previous basil plant that I did. So I think I'm going to switch them out, but you can see how easy it is. I just uh, would pull it out, take the net cup out, insert it into the uh, three inch collar. Make sure the roots are sticking out. You can see a couple of them. They're a little bit longer. And uh, I'll insert it back into the uh, mini downspout. And then uh, let me just grab the other basil plant. Make sure the uh, roots are sticking out the bottom. I'll insert the half styrofoam cup. It should be good to go. I'm just going to make sure the cups are firmly in there and everything's adjusted correctly. And you can see these things got a nice tight seal once they're inserted correctly. All right, I'm going to grab my Master Blend Nutrients and uh, fill up this uh, mini downspout. As I uh, filled it up about 95%. So I'll just go ahead and put that last basil plant in there. And this is the good part. You can see as I shake this, no water comes out. So there is a really nice seal with these uh, styrofoam cups. Again, I don't see anything leaking. All right, I'm going to try to grab this with one hand and use the other hand to hold the camera and walk it back over to the uh, window sill. So hopefully I don't drop it. All right, here we go. And see those cups make a nice tight seal as none of the water is coming out. So. Hi, Betty. How you doing? All right, so I got the uh, basil plants back in the windowsill without spilling any water. And as you can see, the plants are looking really healthy. Now we'll just keep them monitored and see how these uh, air gaps work out. And the idea would be here uh, to check on these uh, half cup basil plants. And once the uh, roots grow longer, then I'll uh, move them up to a full cup. The other thing we've noticed is when we open the windows in the evening after it cools down, is that the breeze that comes in <laughs> blows basil like you get a smell of basil through the windows hey betty you think that basil smells good all right anyways we will be making an update on how these uh, air gap basil plants turn out in the future so until then we'll see ya and if you're interested in making your own uh, mini downspouts for your window sills be sure to go check out my etsy store as i sell the uh, handmade end caps for the 2x3 Amerimax uh, gutter jeep that you can purchase at either Home Depot or Lowe's. Be sure to check out our other videos so we got step-by-step -step guides on how to make the mini downspouts. And I'll post a link to the Etsy store in the description below. Be sure to go check it out. As I currently have uh, end caps for the 2x3 Amerimax rain gutters but I'll also be adding the 3 inch by 4 inch and also a uh, two by two inch that they sell at Home Depot. So be sure to subscribe because I'll be posting the uh, new end caps and products here. All right, until next time, have a good one. We'll see ya.